Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 35 week pregnancy update and I just want to start out by saying if this camera is out of focus or it goes out of focus at any time during this video, I apologize because I just got a new camera and I'm still trying to figure out how to work this thing. So yeah, I'm a newbie and I'm not all that good with all this camera, technology, <laughs> photography kind of stuff. So bear with me for now and I hope that this camera stays okay for now. So I didn't get a video up in the last week, which I was supposed to do every two weeks, so I apologize for that, but I'm going to be talking about some things that have been going on for this past three weeks since my last video was 32, so I will be talking about week 33, 34, and 35, because today I'm 36 weeks, so I'm a little slow with these videos, but like I said, bear with me for now, you guys. I'm sorry. Before I get a little more into the vlog, I wanted to talk about my next video idea I have. I actually really want to include my boyfriend, so I want to do kind of an introduction, meet him, Q&A type of video. So I was thinking you guys can leave your comments down below that you have for him, for me, for both of us, together, and we will answer them in my next video. So it probably won't be a pregnancy vlog, but it'll just be like a introducing my boyfriend kind of video to my channel because he will be on my channel he is my baby's father so yes he will be in the videos if i vlog which i hope to vlog so yeah just please leave your comments below leave them any kind of questions and i will answer them we will both answer them all so i am at week 30 i will just do week 35 because i just turned 36 weeks so Week 35, I'm just going to my bump app and I wanted to show you guys kind of like what it said, how big she would be. So week 35, baby is as big as a pineapple. I don't know if you guys can see this. Focus. So she should be 18.1 inches and 5 pounds, which is crazy because 5 pounds is pretty big now and as big as a pineapple. Yeah, that's pretty big. Growing, growing, growing. Yep, baby and you. You've reached 35 weeks and your uterus has grown about a thousand times its original size. A number that might sound exaggerated to everyone else, but to you, it probably feels more like a million. Honestly, I don't even notice. <laughs> I guess just because I still feel really small for my... For my time around like I'm already supposed to be in the beginning of the ninth month I am due my due date is in less than a month because today is October 27th and I am due November 25th so yeah less than a month away which is pretty terrifying if I must say like I say in every video so as for symptoms I've been having a lot a lot of back pain it's just been like insane and then on my sides as I heard like on your sides is when you and I'm getting a phone call. Make sure that you have your appointment tomorrow at 9.45. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Anyways, doctor's appointments for days. So as for symptoms, I've been having like the side pains, kind of, I guess like getting ready for contractions. I'm not sure if it's contractions exactly, but I've been having like really like tightening feelings. And as I've heard, that's what contractions or Braxton Hicks contractions are. So I guess I've been feeling that, which is kind of insane and scary because to me it kind of hurts and I know people say Braxton Hicks contractions don't hurt but mine have been hurting so maybe I'm in for a painful labor which I don't even want to say that because I don't want to jinx myself but I feel like I'm rambling on right now I don't know why oh I haven't had any swelling or anything like that I know people say that in your hands and your face and sometimes your feet that you get really bad swelling but I've been really lucky to not have to suffer from that just yet so I hope that these next four weeks are just smooth sailing, but there's no saying that. Expect the unexpected, right? But one other thing is that I've been going pee almost every hour, which is just so lovely. In the middle of the night, I wake up every hour, like I'm not even joking, literally every single hour. I will, I will look at my phone, it'll be an hour later, an hour later, an hour later, I gotta pee. I'm constantly running back and forth. So I think it's safe to say that she is pretty low right now and yeah, that's, it's been a lot of fun with that. Also, at my last doctor appointment, they had told me that I finally gained, I think I gained about three pounds, which was insane to me because 
I don't know, it's just, I've had such a hard time gaining weight, as I've said, if you guys have been watching my whole vlogs, you know, but it's just, it hasn't been easy, so for them to tell me I gained three pounds within those two weeks I had went was crazy to me because, I don't know, I, I mean, I have noticed that I've got a little bigger, so I guess, yeah, it should be obvious by now, but yeah, I did gain. So now I am at 131, which is what I was originally at before I had got pregnant. So I just gained all that weight back. And yeah, hopefully I don't gain too, too much in the next few weeks so I can have like a an easy little weight loss after or something because your girl does not want to stay like this because I feel really bloated. That's just the one thing that's like, ugh. My stomach's extremely, extremely hard too. So I thought it would be exciting to share with you guys my baby's hospital bag, so I'm going to do that. This is the bag. Can't even get me in the camera. Let's see. This is the bag. And it is basically a skip hop, and I believe this is in the limited edition striped. Something striped. I will list it down below in the comments in case anybody was interested. Just, just in case. I mean... I don't know. I'm always curious to know where people got their things and whatnot. So yeah, it's just like this really nice diaper bag and I got this from my dad as a present. So thank you. So these are just some of the items that I'm going to be taking to the hospital with me. And these are just for her. So actually, let me start with this little side pocket right here. This is just a changing pad that comes with the bag. So I don't, I'm not going to use this. Um... I have here a blanket. It's just a really soft, warm pink blanket. Um, I don't know if I will need this or not, but you know, just in case the car ride back for her car seat or something, because she's going to be due at the end of November, so it's going to be cold. And I don't know. I just want to be prepared, right? So you can never overpack. And I have some of these little Johnson hand and face wipes. This is just babies are really delicate. You just want to be like really really sensitive with them so I have these and it's just to clean her face or her hands or anything I don't even know if I'm gonna use these but like I said we can never we can never overpack right then on this other little pocket I just have some little socks let me see if you guys can see these are just really cute little pink socks and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna put little, little like booties on her so I just brought these socks in case and then I have this little these little mittens these just have little hearts they're just like this plain color I just wanted some little mittens in case and then I have these this little kind of pajama outfit in case I don't know if she will need this but like I said, it's just a little sleeper, and this is in the newborn size. It's really cute. It has a little fox. That is that. And then I have this one in case. This might be her going home outfit. Still not sure exactly what her going home outfit is going to be, but this is an option, and it just says, Daddy's Little Princess, and it has a little owl. I don't know if you guys can see. Does not like to focus. I also brought some pants to go along with that, so in case that's her going home outfit, she has the whole little suit. Which, this was actually my first option for the going home outfit. It's just a little florally onesie with these little pants. I think these are so cute. These are both in newborn size, which I think I should also bring some zero to three month options just in case she's a bigger baby than we're expecting. <laughs> I did actually bring some little white onesies. These are in the size, this one is in the size newborn and it's just a plain white onesie. I don't know if she'll need this, but I've watched so many other hospital videos and a lot of people recommend bringing these. So I brought one in the long sleeve as well. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be cold. This is in the newborn size as well. And then at the bottom, I just have a swaddle blanket. It's just a really light, thin blanket. Maybe I can use it for the car seat, I don't know. They all smell so good because I wash them with the baby laundry soap and she's just ready to go, you guys. Over here, I just have these cute little booties. They're just like these white little, like, 
I don't even know what kind this is like crotchet booties I think it's They're just like some really cute little white ones and I think I might put these on with her outfit depending I don't know I'm not too sure yet but the final thing that I have is just a burping cloth I forgot about that and of course her little elephant wubbanub this is the cutest thing ever you guys I don't know if you guys can see it it's a little elephant and it has a little pacifier this is just for zero to six months so hopefully I don't know if she's gonna get to use this because I have heard that if you're breastfeeding that they do not recommend you to give the baby a pacifier right away so I don't know if she's gonna use this or not but in case you never know so that is all that it is that is in her hospital bag I think in my next video I will do my hospital bag it's just it's not done yet and it's just a complete mess so another thing I wanted to update you guys real quick is that I am planning to vlog my labor and delivery I don't know how that is gonna turn out because I don't know if I'm gonna be feeling up to it but my boyfriend definitely wants to vlog it so it will be vlogged for sure I just don't know how it's gonna go up on my channel I don't know what exactly I'm going to put because like I said I don't know how I don't know how the whole process is gonna turn out and I just I will see how the footage goes from there and hopefully I can get that up on my channel just some clips if not pictures for sure so that is that like I said before I'm going to be filming a video with my boyfriend really really soon and I would really appreciate if you guys can leave some comments down below let me know what you guys want to know ask us anything and that is all for this video I don't know if it's gonna be cut short because I have like about 15 minutes of footage but I don't know editing it all out so I'm sorry if this video was short um, hopefully the next one will be long definitely the Q&A if you guys leave some good questions it'll be a decent video so I hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next pregnancy vlog bye guys